Hello everyone. In today's video, we will set up a Kepware OPC UA server and connect it to some tags with our Mitsubishi FX0 PLC. I have prepared a small project already. Just a couple memory bit tags that can set my outputs and one sign double word tag that have to be greater than 30 to set my output. The tags are already declared in the global label list. I am using the free version of Cap where it only allows two hours of usage then need to be restarted. So I will first restart it to make sure I can use it correctly. I will add a link in the description to the Kepware website. You can download it for free. Now that it's restarted, and we can use it for another two hours, we will make a new project. First, we need to make a new OPC channel. To do so, we right-click on Connectivity, and then New Channel. Here we need to choose which PLC we are using. Kepware supports a lot of different brands and versions. We are using a Mitsubishi FX0 PLC. We can now give our channel a name. I will name it like the version of Mitsubishi PLC I am using. We need to select the right COM port we connected to the PLC to find which COM port we are connected to. We need to open up Device Manager. Once it is open up, we can find which COM port we connected to under the COM and LPT port tab. I am connected to COM port 5. Now we can just click Next until our channel is finished. Now that our channel is done, we can add a device to our channel. We can give the device a name too. Here we need to choose which model of Mitsubishi FX PLC we are using. Then we can just click Next until it's finished. Now that our OPC server is set up, we can start linking the tags from our PLC code. To do so we right click and then click on new tag. We have to give our tag a name. I will name it like in the PLC program. We could also add a little description. Then we need to choose which address it is connected to. We can find in the list here which we need to choose. I will connect these bit tags to the memory bit tags I created in my PLC program. Then just click OK. This is our finished tag in the OPC server. You can see things like tag name, address, data type, and the description we added. I will add my other memory bit tags now.
I will add the sign double word tag now. To make it clear, I will add in the description that we need a value greater than 30 to set this true. When we make a double word tag, we need to make sure to choose it from the data type list. Now all our tags are ready. To test all tags out, we can make a quick client by clicking this button. It will open up a client that we can read or write our tags from. First go to the OPC channel tab that we made. We can see that our tags are connected under the quality tab. If it says good it is connected. If something went wrong it would have said bad. To write a tag to the PLC we have to right click the tag we want and then click asynchronous 2.0 write. Then write a value and then click apply. We can see on the update count that it counts up. It will count for each time a change happened to the tag. To write our double word tag, I will write a value greater than 30. Then to make it false again, I will write a value below 30. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe.